Hey everyone, welcome once again to our daily devotion. This is day 21 of our spiritual journey, journey to the promise. And I pray in this spiritual journey, you have truly drawn closer to the Lord in your relationship with him and that you have learned about his kingdom economy and what he requires of us as his people to see to the needs of his house, his ministry and his people. Today's devotion is entitled, Rich People, Be Generous. In the scripture today, we see Paul appealing to Timothy and imploring him to, as a pastor to teach and to instruct those who are wealthy in this present age or wealthy in his church. And that word wealthy means to have uh, over in the abundance that not only were their needs being met, but their wants and desires were being met based on the resources that they had did not put their trust in these temporary uncertain riches because when you do this, when you prioritize the material over the spiritual, you'll become arrogant and conceited. You'll fall into that trap. What does that mean? That means you start to think of yourself more highly than those who have less than you. But you also misplace your hope. You start to trust in and put your hope in this resource rather than putting your trust and hope in God who is the source of all your resources. And so Paul says to how to combat this or how to avoid this trap, that they are to let their exceptional net worth be matched with exceptional service to benefit others. What does that mean? They are to be generous givers, that they are to do good works in giving to meet the needs of the church, to meet the needs of the people in the church, to meet the needs of the people in the community, that God had blessed them with this overabundance and God had blessed them with this wealth so that they could be wealthy in good works and wealthy in the heavenly riches. And that means to store up your treasures in heaven rather than on earth. So as we live in a very wealthy society and America has been very exceptional, we have been blessed from the very beginning. I believe we are blessed as a country because God wants us to use this wealth to be a blessing to others. Jesus said this, the poor you will have with you always. What does that mean? That means that there will always be people who have less than us. That doesn't make us greater than them or better than them. That puts us in a position to help them, to assist them, to bless them, to do good works that benefits them. And we do this by using the overabundance that we have, that we don't live above our means. We are content what God has given us. And we don't seek or we don't labor to be rich, but we take this resource in this overabundance to meet the needs of others. So as we as Americans who compared to many other countries are all considered wealthy, take the abundance and the overabundance that God has blessed you with and meet a need. Take your exceptional net worth and as you have your savings accounts and you have all the things that are afforded to you in our wealthy lifestyle, take some of that and see to the needs of someone else. Take some of that and bring it to the house of God who is always in the business of meeting needs, both spiritually and physically. Take your uh, material things and do a list of priorities and say, I'm going to give God his first and I'm going to make sure God's house is taken care of. And I'm going to make sure the people of God who are serving the people are taken care of. And then I will enjoy what God has given me. That's how we prioritize the spiritual over the material. We see the souls are more important than the dollars and the cents and the cars and the houses and the land. That we see that everyone having a home and not just me having a huge home is more important. And we see that those who are in need of salvation, healing, and freedom, needs are being met because God has blessed me with this overabundance to give back to God's house, God's people, God's ministry, and the service to the Lord.
God bless you. I pray that this 21 days has really truly drew you closer to the Lord and that you have developed a deeper understanding of giving, of generosity, of charity, of what God has called us to do as believers. And as you finish up your spiritual commitment, give God praise today. Give him thanks today. Thank him, not just for bringing you through these last 21 days, but how you have drawn closer to him and how he has kept you and how you are now going further in him, deeper in him, higher in him, so that you can be who God has truly called you to be. We have one more day, a bonus tomorrow, so we uh, invite you to tune in to our daily devotion for tomorrow and for our service, our Commitment Sunday, where we are going to bring our best to the Lord for the work of the Lord and for the building of his house. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Stay safe.